Hi everyone, good morning. So, we're going to continue Victoria Free today. We're playing as Chile. It's 1867. I still got some native land to colonize here, but we should be done pretty soon with this. And then I could maybe try to colonize elsewhere. I could try Australia or I could try Africa. We'll see, we got some options. I'm also starting to unlock electricity. Uh, I think I got one power plant already. Uh, not yet. Uh, we're still researching it. So yeah, once we finish that, I can actually build a power plant and start to unlock some technologies that use it. And we're also enacting proportional taxation, which will give me like 10,000 of extra revenue. 11,000 even. Uh, Great Britain wants a defensive pact. I don't really want that. I don't want them dragging me into their wars. So no thanks. I'll pass. Hey turtle. Alright, another unlock. Right, so this helps with textile mills, but I would need rubber for that. Which means I would have to import it. Probably not the best idea right now. Because I'm pretty sure there isn't any in the British market right now. Oh, I can't even do this. Wait, I thought it just unlocked. <laughs> okay, maybe not. Never mind. But either way, I don't really have access to rubber, so I can't use that. Uh, more migration. Okay, that's not to me. How's our colonization going? This should be done, like, really, really soon. Uh, 120 out of 126. It will be done pretty soon. And then we can start integrating this territory. Because that will take some time and it will use a lot of bureaucracy. I might actually have to get more bureaucracy. Might not be a bad idea. Uh, yeah, all of Canada is Hudson Bay Company. I guess they took over everyone else. We got Heavenly Kingdom in Asia. Somebody is fighting here. All right, let's get some more bureaucracy. I'm pretty sure I'm going to need it very, very soon. I just don't want to overpay. Proportional taxation should help. I just need it to pass. Okay, how are my reserves? Okay, I'm pretty close to my reserve limit. 2.06 million. Hey, Finalis. Any day now. Let's just run speed 5 for a bit. Since I'm mostly waiting right now. There it is. We got electrical generation. So now I can actually build the power plant. And it unlocks some production methods. Oh yeah, that definitely sounds useful. I can already improve my logging camps and the livestock ranches. And the urban center. 
Interesting. Oh yeah, indeed. Oh, I never switched to public trams. I never switched much of anything in my urban center, actually. No, I still have to actually build a power plant, so I can't really switch to electric streetlights just yet. But we can switch the other stuff. I never actually did that for the urban center. Here you go, that's going to be way more services. Okay, what's next? Steel railway cards. Right, so that would improve railway for more infrastructure. So the funny thing is, <laughs> I can unlock a new production method for oil rigs, but I don't know what oil rigs are. <laughs> because I don't have that tech. Electric railways, that also sounds useful. Uh, what else do we have here? Improved fertilizer, dynamite. Rotary valve engine. So that would help the steel mills and the furniture manufacturers and the tolling workshops. That sounds useful. Uh, also, electrical capacitors. So that would help the textile mills. And that's like the highest in demand good right now, clothes. Uh, let's actually unlock that then. Okay, how's the infrastructure right now? Uh, there's lots. Alright, so let's build the power plant. That will take a little bit of time. How's that colonization going? It's so slow, but it will actually be done soon. And actually integrating this region should be fast, because it's the same population as mine. As in, it's the same culture. Same as my primary. Because normally it can take like 20 years. I suppose I should start building up Patagonia as well. Oh yeah, proportional taxation. Plus 10% enactment success chance. Plus 20 prestige. Permanently. Okay, that's way better than plus 10% success chance I think because this will pass one way or the other it might take a little bit longer but permanent plus 20 prestige seems nice like 36 percent is already pretty good it will pass eventually okay that seems bad Plus 2% mortality for laborers employed in manufacturing. Yeah, no, that seems bad. <laughs> Let's not do that. Well, you can see trains, I think. If you zoom in a lot. So yeah, kind of. I think we can literally see trains. Maybe I can... Oh yeah, here's a train. So yeah, you can actually see stuff happening on the map. And your country developing. 
I assume we'll see like the power plant somewhere, probably. It's not done yet, but it's under construction. So that's kind of neat. Here's a road. Yeah, that's actually kind of neat. I never zoomed in this much. <laughs> Yeah, I assume you can see things you build somewhere. Like, what is this place? It's definitely some of these. Yeah, like this place over here. Yeah, this is definitely some of my infrastructure. This is like just some random town, because this is still Santiago. Yeah, that's kind of neat. Uh, right, I'm not using my influence for anything. I suppose we can improve our relations with some people. Just to use it for something. That'll do. I still got that alliance with Argentina, but might as well keep it at this point. Okay, I'm maxed out with Russia already. A gold rush. Gold has been discovered in Araucania. People from all corners of the earth are converging there, confident that they will discover the next great load and become incredibly rich. There's gold in them hills. Spread the word. Plus 125% migration attraction. Uh, well, <laughs> we had some interesting developments yesterday with migration. And attraction is already high in here. Well, hey, what the heck? My standard of living is already back to 15.5. Because it did drop by like two points after we got like 2 million people migrating from Britain yesterday. Okay, sure, let's increase it even more. What could go wrong? I think it's capped now. Does it not go above 50? Yeah, okay, so 50 is the cap, it seems. Is it though? The UI doesn't seem to display a number any higher than that, but the tooltip says it's 70.8. Oh yeah, there we go, now it's updated. So it's 70.9. That's pretty high attraction. Compared to the average of 19.2 in the British market. <laughs> yeah, we're just a little bit above the average. Just a tiny little bit. Plus two standard of living for two years. Okay, I don't necessarily want that. Because then it will go down after two years. But the minimum expectation will go up. Plus 10% radicals from standard of living decreases for two years. I think that's fine, actually. Yeah, that's fine. I don't want to increase the minimum expected standard too much.
Okay, let's see if we can pass this this time around. There it is. We now have a proportional taxation. Very nice. And I'm making a lot more money now. I can actually lower my taxes and even increase the wages. Not that it will really have a major effect on anything. Yeah, because really it only affects the approval of a certain group of people. Like in this case, intelligentsia. But it caps out at plus 20. So if you are already at plus 20 to begin with, like there's literally no real reason to not lower it. It will lower their standard of living a little bit because they will make less money. But it's not like they're part of the poor, so it doesn't really matter too much. Unless like your middle and upper strata are already too low. A middle mostly. But they're not, they're fine. What about the military? Okay, these guys are, are at plus 10. So in this case, if I lower military wages and I get minus 2 penalty, in this case... Oh, I already did lose patriotic fervor. So it's like round... No, it's back. So I would lose this bonus here. Not that I care too much about it, but we will hopefully get to fight the native sometime soon. It would be useful to have it for when we do. Not that it will make any significant difference in this case. But yeah, that's basically the main effect of increasing or lowering wages. It doesn't actually piss people off. It just increases or lowers your approval. But I mean, if I set the government wages to very low right now, like, this will just lower the approval from plus 20 to plus 17. They don't really give a shit about having low wages all that much. <laughs> Which is a little bit odd, but alright. Uh, okay, what do we build next? Uh, the power plant is done. Can we see it? It's in here somewhere, I assume. Or it might be somewhere else. But it should actually be somewhere on the map. Anyway, now that we actually have some electricity... I assume it's not a tremendous amount just yet. Plus 20. I assume it will go up because they are still hiring. Is the 8th most productive power plant in the world. <laughs> Out of how many? <laughs> Out of 8? <eight? laughs> because if it's out of 8, then that's not very impressive, is it? No, not really. Okay, 30. Okay, that's a big coal imbalance right there. I guess I should get more coal then. Nothing to switch here just yet. Alright, let's get more coal. So how much electricity will this use if I switch? 52! Okay, yeah, that's a bit too much right there. Uh, that's a bit too much. We can maybe switch... Alright, I don't have that tech just yet. What was it that I could use? Logging camps. That was it. Where were they? Here. It doesn't seem to be that much demand right now. Where's hardwood? There's still some. Plus 41% price. Alright. What about livestock farms? I think I have a grand total of one. Two. Uh, not a huge amount. 
So how much would an electric fence be? There are only six. Not that it's really... Okay, it is actually improvement. All right. Yeah, it basically makes it cheaper because then the employment decreases by 3.6k, which means I don't have to pay them as many wages. So that saves me more money than I pay for the actual resources that I have to spend on this, which is why it becomes more profitable. So that's nice. Now, I might want to make my own explosives sometime soon. There is sometimes a shortage. Not right now, but... Since I'm in the British market, they have a priority over me. So it might be a good idea to make my own eventually. What about the coal mine? What about the gold mine? It's already improved. Where the heck is the coal mine? Oh yeah, right here. So I would need a steam donkey for this one. I can switch a different urban center, a smaller one. Like this one is much smaller. I can change this one to electric streetlights. Yeah, there's barely any employment here, so really that won't have any major effect. This one is size 4. Yeah, that's 41. Uh, yep, no, I'm not producing enough yet. Okay, so I'll have to wait with that until I expand my power plant. So coal-fired plant required steam turbine. Okay, that's 13 years to research. That's too high tier for me right now. How's that colonization going? 122 out of 126. Any day now. Now I could improve my colonial affairs. So I could do that. I just need a relevant technology. So maybe we'll research that next. Should be somewhere in here. Yeah, that's the one. Civilizing mission. That will allow me to increase my colonial affairs investment. So maybe we'll do that next. But let's finish electric capacitors first. I still need a lot of clothes. Yep. <laughs> a lot. Wow. With that said, the price is just 9% above uh, average, or above base price, rather. Some tool shortage, I see. And nothing I can improve here. Well, I mean, Victoria mostly focuses on economy. Oh yeah, there we go, hold on. Is this mine or... No, this is Argentina. Damn it. Oh, come on. Yeah. Well, that's annoying. So they get to fight the Mapuche. Yeah, this part is a little bit random. If two people are trying to colonize the same territory. But all right. Not much I can really do here. I don't even have a single general right now. Okay, that's actually probably bad.
I don't think there's any point using conscripts. Like, these guys barely have any troops. But unfortunately, since like this isn't a war with me, I probably won't be able to grab much territory. I will still get to incorporate this state once there's nothing else left to colonize. It's just going to be a split state. Eh, I can still do something. All right, all right. Because the condition here to incorporate the state, I can actually do it already, after this war started. Anyway, the condition isn't that you need to have everything yourself, but that there has to be nothing left to colonize. So we can still incorporate a split state, but it has to all be colonized by somebody. It doesn't have to be just you. And yeah, like speaking of mechanics the game focuses on, it's a very hard game to rate because, and this is obviously just my opinion, the parts that are good in Victoria 3 are really good, and the parts that are bad are pretty damn bad. So depending on which parts of the game you care more about, the game might be fine or it might be very terrible. Like the economy part is quite fun to play. The war is pretty bad. Like really, really bad. And not just because like you don't have direct control. I actually like that part because I didn't like the whack-a-mole nature of EO4 war. However, it's a little bit glitchy, and the battles sometimes make no sense, and the terrain doesn't really matter. Like, there's no way I should be able to just easily attack across the mountains here, with no issues whatsoever. No supply problems, like, no attrition problems, no nothing. Sometimes the front line moves in a weird way. Sometimes you can win uh, with, like, 1 to 10 disadvantage. Sometimes you can lose with a 10 to 1 advantage. So, like, war is pretty bad in this game. So if you care about the war more, this is not a good game. But the economy part of it is quite fun. But they definitely need to, like, work on this part, on the war part. Like, there's no way supply shouldn't matter here. I mean, we're in friggin' South America, and you can just walk across no problem. You can walk across the mountains, you can walk across the Amazon, like you don't have any supply problems, no attrition, no nothing, like you just don't give a shit. Just take a stroll. And like, each individual state does have terrain, uh, like in other games, but it just doesn't matter much. Not nearly as much as it should. However, like I said, I'm quite enjoying the economy part of it. Another thing that needs some improvement are the tooltips. And I, I feel vindicated a little bit because I watched some people on Twitch when I had the time. Uh, some people who have like well over 10,000 hours in Paradox games. So my numbers are rookie numbers compared to them. And they were complaining about the tooltips too. Which is, like, fair, because a lot of Paradox games, most Paradox games, give you information overload on the tooltips. They really do. Like, some games do it in a pretty awkward way, like, almost, like, by copy-pasting a script from the game code, with, like, weird convoluted logic in it. But it's there, it gives you the information. Here, in some cases especially, you do not get the information why something can happen. Uh, I can't give you a really good example right now, 
Uh, but one of the really good examples are some laws. Because there are some cases sometimes where you meet all of the conditions to enact some law, but you still can't do it. And at least one of the cases why you might not be able to do it uh, are the traits of the party leader, which can block it out. But the tooltip doesn't tell you when that happens. You have absolutely no information on the tooltip when uh, some law is blocked out by the party leader. Like, the game just doesn't tell you. Which it should. That's just one example, but there are a bunch of other examples. The fact that I cannot see how many provinces total a territory has. Like, you would think this is an information that should be included on the information tab. I get it that it's not a tremendously relevant information, but it's still relevant in the context of colonization, for example. Oh great, Argentina is now settling this shit down here. Really? <laughs> okay, bro. 1000 population. <laughs> yeah, alright. So yeah, these are the two areas that need some work. Some of the tooltips need improvement and war needs improvement. Uh, I can reform my government for free. And in fact, speaking of parties, there isn't really that much information about them either. You can see the party leader. So here are a bunch of traits uh, that can have a major impact on things. But if you don't check them here, you do not get this information elsewhere. Like some of these traits can block things at times. And when they get blocked, the game doesn't tell you this is why it's blocked. Because of the party leader. Uh, mutual funds unlocked. Right. So now I can switch to publicly traded. And to get way more capitalists involved. If I so desire. Actually, that would decrease the number. Uh, no. A plus 300 more in total, right. I think privately owned is fine right now. Okay, I am grabbing some territory here, as far as I can tell. Obviously, won't be all of it. Not to mention, there are various things that you should be able to just pin to the outliner, but you can't. It's kind of weird how limited the outliner is, compared to literally any other Paradox game. I don't really understand that. Because there are several things that you should quite obviously be able to pin to the outliner, like buildings or certain pop groups. But you can't. Like, it's not an option. You can't. And we can still advance the front line here. All right. Okay, now I can start incorporating this. 20 years. Oh, that's annoying. I thought it would be faster than that. Oh, well. Oh, yeah. The South Andean culture is no longer the majority. Too much migration. Actually, too much migration happened, but they are no longer the majority. Because if they were... I would be able to integrate this much faster, in like two years, as opposed to 20. Hey, Milamber. Number. 
Flemish, that's the biggest group in Patagonia, all right. English, 15%. Yeah, we had a lot of English migrate. 13% here, 15% here. Thirty-seven percent in Los Rios. What about Santiago? <laughs> Forty-five percent of all the population in Santiago are English. That was the migration event yesterday. Well, I guess I better get started. This is going to be a lot of bureaucracy. And I will have to keep using it for 20 years. Okay. If I have to, then I guess I will. So now I could try to colonize something else. Like Africa, maybe. How much population is there here? This is all colonizable here. Uh, 556k, okay. Uh, 36k down here. So I could colonize this bit if I want to. I could colonize Africa a little bit. Africa probably makes a bit more sense. Okay, let's see if we can colonize some Africa. We just need to declare interest. And then we can do it. I might have to wait a bit first, or I might have to like increase my range or something. Yeah, right now I just need to wait until this goes to 100. So how's that war going? Still railway cards unlocked, all right. Our power plant is almost done, the second one. And even more research. That's just technology spread here. Okay, nothing else I can do in this war. I guess he can chill now and wait for the war to end. I'm a little bit pissed Argentina beat me to this, but oh well. I guess I'll leave. Okay, done. Now I can establish a colony. I could do both, but it will be faster to do one at a time. This one should be a bit faster in theory. Oh, France is already here. Okay. Alright, well, let's try Herrero then. There it is, Chilean colony. Population 2000. I should probably build like a port or something like that. Zero out of three infrastructure, I mean, obviously. Okay, let's build like a port or something like that. And wait for this war to end. Yeah, so Argentina actually grabbed a little bit of land down here, which looks very awkward. But they did. Yes, yeah, slightly annoying. This is how two countries end up arguing over some shitty island for 200 years, isn't it? <laughs> That's literally how it happens. Like, they grab this shitty island in here, and they're like, yep, that's ours, all right. Yep, yep, pretty much. They're like, first, first. Okay, so the land grab here is done. Yeah, this part was a bit RNG, who's going to be first there. And like, the Mapuche were at 100 and volatile for like 20 years to me. 
but in the end they attacked Argentina and not me. So that part is kind of weird. A bit too much RNG involved there. I bet if I reloaded a save a few times and then tried again, uh, there would be a different outcome in some cases. Alright, what are we building? We finished that power plant. How much electricity is it now? Uh, 100. Okay, that's still not quite enough. I'm already using uh, quite a bit elsewhere. I guess I'll just keep expanding it then. I'll need electricity, one way or the other. A lot of it. Isolated state region. Yeah, we're working on it. What's my naval base doing? Okay, maybe I should switch production here a little. To ironclad and such. That makes sense. How about the barracks? Uh, faster to do it this way. Oh wait, this will mean I'll need opium. And yeah, that should be fine. As long as I'm part of the British market. Okay, looks fine otherwise. Railway. Yeah, still passenger carriages. And I could switch it to government run. That will employ more bureaucrats. No. I ought to expand everything. I'm a little bit paranoid about using ought to expand on everything. I don't want it to bankrupt me. I'm not convinced that's such a good idea. And what will you do then? Like, this is a big part of the game. And it's a fun part of the game. I wouldn't want to automate it. Oh, that's right. Do I even have a shipyard anywhere? No, I don't. I should probably build one. Yeah, no point switching when I don't have a shipyard. Pretty big opium shortage. 6.66k <laughs> buy orders for opium. Very sus.
How's our colony doing? <laughs> okay, yeah, colonizing this place will take... Oh, severe malaria. Right, I need to uh, get the tag. Uh, what's that tag? It's in there somewhere. I'm about to finish electrical capacitors. I have no idea which tag that was. Wait, I already have that. I literally already have that. Okay. So, do I just wait? Or do I need to build something in here? Uh, there's no decree for it, as far as I can tell. Okay, I have no idea. Okay, I have no idea. I already have the tech. Dangerous equipment. Minus 50% manufacturing industries throughput for five years. Okay, that's bad. We cannot pull the brakes on the engines of progress. Damn right. So a few people will die. Big deal. We have a lot of immigrants from Britain anyway. So no problem, right? I have too much population anyway. Uh, trade unions and intelligence, yeah. Yeah, these guys are already pretty happy anyway. Okay, no brakes on the engines of progress. Alright, we're in 1870 now. So will this just fix itself or what? I have no idea. Man, this will take forever. 4% 4 done. We won't be done until 1890. And the game ends in 1936. So, yeah. I blame all these immigrants. Because at least this state... It would have been done in two years if South Andean culture was the majority, which it was originally. Uh, yeah, it was pretty bad, Slammer. Not sure if it was this bad, but it was pretty bad. Thing is though, again, I have the tech. I'm not sure what I need to do with it now, but I have it. Maybe I should have colonized Australia instead. Oh yeah, there might be a different tech. Oh, it does the one. Eight years. 
That's the one. Removes. Oh, there's a typo. Come on, Paradox. Literally unplayable. Removes. Cool story, bro. Literally unplayable. Zero out of ten. But yeah, this is it. Removes all effects of uh, severe malaria in your own colonies. Uh, the downside to consumption tax, well, there are two downsides. The first one is that you have to use authority. And the second one is that people will pay more and therefore they will be poorer. And you can actually see the detailed breakdown of people's needs. You can't see it here. You can't see it for like your total population, unfortunately, anywhere on these tooltips. However, you can see it. You can only see like uh, this kind of breakdown, but that's not quite what I'm talking. Oh, a budget dividend taxes. Nice game, Paradox. But you can see that 1.3% uh, of their income is paid in consumption taxes. However, you can see an even more detailed breakdown if you go to population and then pick a specific pop group. Like, for example, I have 2 million peasants here. Let's see what's the biggest group. You can sort this by population, by the way, which you should be able to, damn it. There are a few things in the UI like this, which could definitely be improved. Okay, so here, I got 300k South Andean uh, people working on subsistence farms in Santiago. So if I go check them out, uh, they are currently impoverished at 13, minimum expected is 10. And if you hover over their world here, you can see an actual detailed breakdown of their weekly income and their weekly expenses. So you can see how much income tax they're paying. You can see not only how much they're paying in consumption taxes, but what they are paying for. So these guys are paying 21.9 for opium consumption taxes right here. Yeah, exactly. Putting consumption tax on grain would be pretty bad because it's like the most basic need for your poorest population. And here, this is something I was looking for at the start of the game. It would be so good if you could see this breakdown for your total population, but unfortunately you can't. You can only see it for a specific pop. So here you can see exactly how much, uh, like what their needs are. For basic food, intoxicants, you can see every single category in here. This is what I was looking for at the start of the game. A breakdown of these categories because it's immediately obvious early on that these goods are divided into categories because they are mentioned, the categories are mentioned in several different places. But there's no like breakdown like this of each category and then what belongs to each category. This is like the only place you can see it that I'm aware of. So you can see what belongs to basic food, you can see what belongs to intoxicants here standard clothing, household items. This is every single need category that exists in the game, right here. Heating. So this is it. These are all the needs categories for your population. There's nothing more than this. These are all of them. Hey, buddy, yeah, like I was saying, their net income right now is 665. So if I raise the consumption taxes drastically on their most basic needs, like, yeah, again, basic food, that's their biggest need. That's like, I don't know, one third. Uh, there's no total number in here. I'm not going to add all of this in my head, but it's a pretty significant percentage. So if I added consumption taxes for all the food, that would be bad. And it might even push this particular group below the minimum expected. So that's the downside of consumption taxes, which is why it's better to tax things that are mostly used by like richer people. 
Yeah, with that said, again, you still have to use authority for it. Like right now, I'm using 300 authority for consumption taxes right now. On luxury clothes, opium and porcelain. I could add like tea. I don't think I would add the transportation. And it's way less efficient. This one requires 200 authority. Tea only requires 100. Liquor requires 100. So yeah, I could add tea, for example. You just have to watch like your groups. Because what happens is that, uh, first thing, if certain groups standard of living drops below the minimum expected, they will radicalize. However, people will also radicalize if their standard of living decreases. It doesn't have to decrease to below minimum expected, but they will start to radicalize a bit, even if it just decreases significantly. Uh, which is why the events like the one earlier that would flat out increase standard of living by two for two years, that's bad because you will lose that bonus after two years, but now they have a bigger expectation. Most of the time there is no major downside to uh, consumption taxes on luxury goods, however. Again, other than needing to spend authority continuously. A better way to improve your income is to change the tax laws. A lot of the nations in the game uh, have land-based taxation at the start, which is the most inefficient form of taxation in the game. It's really, really, really bad. If you have that, like you have to change it ASAP. It's terrible. It's really bad. Then you can see uh, how much my revenue would change if I change my tax law. So right now, if I switch to graduated taxation, I would lose ten thousand. I would lose almost eight thousand on per capita, and if I switched back to land based, I would lose twenty one point three. And consumption based, I would lose thirty seven. So right now, I'm using the most efficient taxation form for my current situation. Okay, hold on. Maybe I should just cancel this and try Australia instead. Because I will not be getting that tech anytime soon. It's still years away. So let's actually cancel this. And I'll try Australia instead. Because this is just a waste of time and resources at the moment. Or, actually, I have more than one option here. All right, I have to wait. Yeah, a lot of the mechanics are a little bit confusing and convoluted on the start. But after a while, it all starts to click. And there are still a lot of mechanics I don't fully understand, but... I understand it better and better when I'm playing more. Alright, we got electrical capacitors now, so I could improve my textile mill production. A lot, potentially. What about the furniture? A lot of demand for luxury furniture. Where's normal furniture? I'm not seeing it here. Oh yeah, hold on. Here. Only plus nine percent. Okay, how much electricity is that? Uh, Sixty-two. Why 
123, right? I don't have enough just yet. I'm using electricity for other things. So I need to work on that first. A 154 generated. Hey, how much infrastructure do I have in Santiago? Okay, it's enough. Let's just work on the power plant. Clearly, I'm going to need it. So, okay, what do I research next? I guess I can get civilizing mission if I'm going to colonize more stuff. Oh yeah, there's Eastern and Western, okay. Uh, hold on. Yeah, Eastern is fine, I suppose. Uh, where the heck am I here? <laughs> Colonies, ready here. Oh yeah, ready here. No, that's Dutch East Indies. Right here, Chilean New Guinea. So I guess I should get a port. Uh, that might take a while if I'm going to wait for the power plants. Oh yeah, you can uh, move things in the queue, so let's move ports to the front. By the way, this is another small thing about the UI. Like, uh, this bar here with the queue, uh, it does not fill beyond your currently used construction. So like, if I queue up more things, they will not be listed here, even though there's enough space. I'll give you an example. So if I go like down here or something, yeah, see, add coal mines, now it just says plus three. But you could easily have a visual representation of what's beyond your current construction capacity in the queue. There's space here on the UI. It's a small thing. Like, there are a lot of small UI things like this. But hey, at the end of the day, uh, modders fixed the EU4 UI and the parts of our own UI, probably CK3 UI as well. <laughs> That's how it goes in a lot of games, doesn't it? Modders fixed civilization UI in both 5 and 6. I switched my industry to public ownership and then enacted the last taxes law. And it has increased tax or dividends. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, okay, how are my reserves? Okay, I'm pretty close to the limit. I need to keep building up stuff. I can probably afford to expand my construction sector now. Or I can build up things that increase government wages, like more universities. I'm going to need more innovation one way or the other. So let's build up the university here. That works. I don't actually want coal mines here, so I leave them in the queue. Seven percent done. <laughs> yeah, nineteen years to go to finish incorporation. It's gonna take a while. I can't really speed it up. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff down here. It's actually also kind of weird how few decisions there are, even for bigger nations. Like, that's another thing that could definitely be improved, uh, the journal in general. There's a fair bit of room for improvement.
And like for me, this game, like it's a weird game to rate and review because if I were to describe Victoria 3 in like one sentence, I would say I'm still having a lot of fun playing it despite some of the obvious flaws it has. There are a lot of games out there that are exactly the opposite. There are no like big obvious flaws to point out, but the games are just boring and have no personality, you know? So sure, it does have some major obvious flaws, but it's still a lot of fun to play, at least for me. So it's a tough one to rate and review because of that. Anarchism unlocked. Oh yeah, right. What about laws? Uh, I haven't thought about that. We should get rid of child labor. Yeah, let's switch to compulsory primary school. I need to work uh, on my literacy. I'm 36th worldwide, which is not that good. My GDP is 18th. Who's opposing this? Industrialists. Of course they do. Of course they do. They oppose anything that's not child labor. Classic industrialists. All right, let's switch to compulsory primary school. That will also add plus two to max education institution investment. So then I can max it out. Stable supply of power. <laughs> Unlimited power. <laughs> Insert meme. Santiago gets power plant pioneer for five years. Okay, that sounds good. 4K progress on technology electric railways. So that's about 10%. But that's a tier 4 technology. A 4K on steam turbine. Okay, same thing, that's tier 4. It would take 15 years right now. Free k on the shift work. I'll take the power. It's temporary, but it's still going to be useful right now, immediately. So, unlimited power! <laughs> Here we go. Now I can probably switch my textile mills. Hopefully. Uh, yes, I can. Nice. I don't think... Yeah, okay. I don't have elastics. Okay, yeah. Much better. That's so much better. Maybe I can switch my furniture factory as well. Uh, have you thought about trying Terra Invicta? I tried it, but I just couldn't get into it. See, for me, the difference between that and Victoria 3 is that Victoria 3 is immediately fun once you, like, understand the mechanics, that is. There's no, like, gatekeeping the fun in the game. But it felt to me that Terra Invicta, like, you had to play any given game that you start for, like, a number of hours before you got to the fun part. Like, the fun parts were gated behind the X number of hours of what, for me, felt like a tedious setup. That's what I didn't like about it. But again, that's just my opinion. But still, like, the fun parts were definitely gated. 
there wasn't that much to do in like the initial phase. Which lasts for a while. Uh, okay, I don't have uh, even rotary valve engine yet, that's fine. How are clothes now? Uh, plus 13%, plus 47 for luxury clothes. Alright. Uh, how's the efficiency of our textile mill? Uh, second most productive textile mills in the world, very nice. And the 29th. 39th most productive building in the world. Not bad, not bad. How's that colony going? Oh, uh, there's also... Okay, okay. There's a penalty here as well. Well, that's annoying. I guess I'm going to need that technology one way or the other. Can I see whether a state has that penalty before I settle it? See, it doesn't say anything in here, so maybe that's a better place. So if I stop this, does it still say it here? Okay, it does. I guess I could colonize this bit of Australia then. There's no malaria there. I might as well. Okay, what the heck. Let's colonize some Australia. Just need to wait for the interest to kick in. There we go. So now we can colonize this. That should be way faster. Yep. Less than 100 days. And how much is there to colonize? Uh, right. That's for like everything here. Obviously a lot of it is already colonized. <laughs> 549. So not sure how much auto that is still left down here. Kind of hard to say. But we'll start colonizing this slowly. Hey, if they break away from the British Empire, maybe we could take over the entire Australia by the end of the game. That would be nice. Maybe we can do that by the end of the game. I would like to. Okay, 40% good. That went up from 25. Uh, running out of infrastructure in Los Rios. Police brutality. The use of extreme force is becoming increasingly common among police officers in Los Rios. The working class and the socially conscious are rallying against the police as an institution. Okay, I can change the level by minus one. I guess that's fine, actually. If I don't, plus 5% of lower strata pops in Los Rios will become more radical. Yeah, no, I don't really want that. Let's just lower it by minus one. It's not a big deal. It's still going to be at level two. It's fine. Yeah, I could probably improve social security here. I can afford it. Also, yeah, I'm capped. I need more construction industry now. So let's get some construction industry. The sector, whatever. I'm just checking infrastructure here. All right, I can afford it. Uh, since I'm kind of wasting money at the moment, 
we can lower taxes temporarily. Yeah, just temporarily. I'll bump it back up later. There's colonizing uh, improvement. So now we can get colonial affairs level 4. That will speed up our colonization efforts. Let's see what's next. So these texts down here are still a bit expensive. Six years. Plus 5% prestige. Oh yeah, I should grab a rotary valve engine, actually. Then I could improve furniture manufacturers, steel mills, tooling workshops. Okay, yeah, definitely a good idea. I should probably still improve the universities. What does this require? Analytical philosophy. Okay, 19 years to research? No thanks. Alright, let's expand the university. Los Rios needs some infrastructure. Bureaucratic shortfall. Okay, yeah, now I need to expand my bureaucracy as well. All right, all right. That should probably be first. Actually, faster way to do it is from this level here. Okay, you can't improve that any further. It's already fixed. Due to inhuman conditions that children face in their workplaces, many families in Santiago have chosen to hide their offspring in the hopes of them not being sent to work. Hey, I'm trying to change that, all right? Oh yeah, here we go, plus 10% enactment success chance. <laughs> Wait, what? It would be a shame if they were to hide in these abandoned houses. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, I can uh, decrease industrialists' attraction. I don't think I care that much about that. Well, anyway, it's at 51% now, so surely it will pass sometime soon. Unless I get really unlucky. New parties formed in our country. Communist party. Okay. Oh yeah, there we go. With armed forces as the members. What could possibly go wrong? Well, they're not part of my government, so... 
Members of the Social Democratic Party have drawn attention to the rise of the Communist Party, expressing their willingness to offer a more moderate solution to their political extremism. And thank God they do. Yeah, I do not really want to add momentum to the Communist Party. It sounds a bit far-fetched. It sounds a bit far-fetched, but the Social Democratic Party is still the sensible option. Yeah, I don't really want the Communist Party to take over with the armed forces as the main group. Uh, all right, we got the university. So I got 65 weekly innovation right now. Yeah, I mostly need to work on my literacy. I'm 34th worldwide, which is not that great. But we're getting some extra from the universities. Yeah, what the heck, let's expand it a little bit more. How's that colony going? Oh, yep, yeah, it's growing, it's growing. Way faster than the others. <laughs> Way faster. And we got the port. I could actually build some stuff in here. Okay, what is available in here? Uh, nothing I don't already have. Oh, no, the game crashed. Yeah, I've been getting some crashes. Uh, recently, and I know I'm not the only one. I watched some people briefly yesterday who are also getting crashes. It seems it's mostly a problem that starts in mid-late game. But yeah, it's definitely not just me. And there are a lot of reports as well, apparently. Uh, hopefully it will get fixed. All right, we're back. All right, I was going to check the market. Fish. I guess I can just build a coal mine. All right, let's just build a coal mine here. And just to give people something to do. Okay, we got five provinces now. We'll see how much we can grab there. Yeah, it could definitely be a reason why they made autosave every month by default. Uh, okay, here I could get plus 20 prestige permanently. Our success chance is already at 50% basically, so let's get that prestige. Yeah, I guess I should probably build that shipyard by now. Alright, let's build the shipyard next. Where can I even build it?
Wait, what category is it under even? Oh yeah, it's right here. Extensive monetary shipbuilding, okay. Come on, you sparty, got 23% of the votes, alright. Uh, we still have 100% legitimacy with just the Social Democratic Party. Let's just keep it uh, like that. I'm not adding the communists unless I have to. <laughs> well, not when the armed forces are their only member. That would be pretty bad. Let's get this shit passed. Right, they will not be able to fully hire for now, but it still has a positive weekly balance. Uh, I think I still need a lot of coal. How's incorporation going? It should be like 17 years left. Yep, 17 years. Almost 20% done, uh, but it's so slow. It's very, very slow. Oh well. Okay, now I should probably raise taxes again. Not keeping them on a minimum forever, that's for sure. <laughs> Okay, plus 15% enactment success chance. Definitely want that. Now it's 64%. The highest I've had this go was like 86%, 87%, almost 90. That was really unlucky. You can get very unlucky with these. Kind of like sieges originally in EO4. <laughs> you could have a hundred year siege if you got really unlucky. Okay, 70 innovation now, so it's getting a little bit better. 10 years for electric railways. Well, hey, it was at 13, so it's an improvement. Destroyer, landing craft. All right. Ignore difficult landing penalty. Interesting. There is still one more level of colonial affairs. Uh, let's see which technology that is. Oh, uh, no, that's not the one. That's central planning. I thought that said colonial planning for a moment. Oh, yeah, it's the malaria prevention one. So that's five years. Uh, that's still a little bit too slow. I'd like that to be like two years max before I commit to researching it. Right now I'm getting a rotary valve engine and with that... Uh, what was that? Oh yeah, that was for the steel mill. And I think furniture factory as well. Yeah, right here. So that will improve my steel mill and the furniture factory. Uh, 
how's the power plant doing? Yeah, right, let's uh, improve the power plant, because right now I'm getting a significant bonus, but it's only temporary. It was only five years. Number one most productive power plant in the world. Not bad. Uh, improved fertilizer. Alright. Discord within the intelligentsia, okay. Plus 15% enactment success chance, but they get minus 5% interest group. Pop-up attraction for five years. Yeah, I don't really want that. Oh, wow. Okay, no, that's even worse. First one, then. Yep, 80% now. So that was actually pretty unlucky there. I've only had this past 80% a few times. Hopefully it won't fail too much more. How is everyone doing here? It doesn't seem to be a whole lot happening. I think Heavenly Kingdom is growing. It's growing. It's actually growing pretty quickly now. We can probably finish this, like, relatively quickly. There we go, it passed. Nice. And now I can improve my education institution. There. At level 4. I can't get level 5 yet, that's fine. Level 4 will do. I'm now spending 30,000 on the government wages. 12.4k from a government administration, 8.6k from a university. Construction is also getting pretty expensive. Uh, how's that shipyard? It should be done by now. Where the heck is it? Oh, it's up here. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, nothing to change here right now. But now I can change the naval base. Okay. There is probably still going to be a shortage. But at least... I'm now producing some of myself. Might as well expand it a little. Should be worth it. Uh, yep, bureaucratic shortfall again. Why am I not surprised? We need more and more bureaucrats. And move it to the front of the queue. Our GDP is going up nicely, 16th worldwide now. There's rotary valve engine, so now I can change furniture manufacturers and a bunch of other things. A house paper demand. Okay, it is pretty high. 
I think I had that. Maybe not. Okay, I guess not. I thought I had at least one paper mill, but I guess I did not. Okay, we'll switch. Yeah, that should make it more money efficient. Uh, not by much, but it did. Same with furniture factory. What else was it? Uh, I can't even check. Oh yeah, tolling workshops. And that's all I have. Toward tools. They are almost at the base price. Yeah, that's actually not worth it. And the difference is marginal. Okay, so what now? Nine years. I could start researching malaria prevention, that's four years. And not only uh, this would allow me to colonize regions with severe malaria, but it would also give me plus one maximum colonial efforts. So it would make normal colonization faster. It will take four years though. Okay, this would save me some bureaucracy. Okay, let's grab that. That's quick. Still getting bureaucratic shortfall. Working on it. Oh, actually, there's no need to add that new one here. These two should fix the problem once they are finished. Fifteen more years to incorporate the states. Looks like we're maybe halfway done with this colonization down here. It's kind of weird nobody else started colonizing this, but all right. I thought somebody would. And the brave engineer. A railroad accident in Patagonia only narrowly avoided heavy fatalities due to the quick thinking of the train's engineer, who perished in the crash. Only a few people died, but the wreckage will take some time to clear. Okay. Minus five infrastructure. The trade unions get plus 15% interest group political strength. They are already fairly strong. I don't think I want to make them much stronger than this. Actually, it might be helpful. Hey, was there approval right now? Oh, it's already plus 20.
Oh, I don't have enough convoys uh, to get more silk. And that's just to increase its level. Wow, that's a pretty profitable trader out right there. I mean, that silk is used in my textile mills right here for luxury clothes. And there's massive demand for that. Hey, we are now number two instead of number one. Somebody passed me. How rude. Very rude. Okay, let's actually improve infrastructure down here in Australia because it's only two out of six. <laughs> That's not a lot. And the coal mine already has full employment. Still going up nicely. 15.5 standard of living. Uh, literacy is improving, but slowly. I'm still working on education here, and we can get level 5 after. I might as well just tell it to go to level 5. Seventy one weekly innovation. Four years to research. Well, I suppose I could get malaria prevention now. Okay, let's get malaria prevention. It will take a while, but it should be worth it for a faster colonization. Because it looks like we'll be done with this in like pretty reasonable time frame. Then I could just start more colonization. I still have that power boost. Yeah, let's expand the power plant some more. I might actually get power shortage once that bonus expires. It was only five years. It doesn't actually say when it's going to expire. See, th things like this should actually tell you when it's going to expire. It's a temporary bonus. It would be nice if you got that information here. Oh, already. See? That happened pretty quickly. So wait, how do I actually get here? Do I just tell my guy to go here and he will? How does that work? I don't actually know how that works across the ocean. Do I just tell him to go there? Apparently. Okay. 60 days to travel here. That seems reasonable, I guess. Okay, I suppose that's reasonable. And these guys only have two battalions. Alright, haul us then. The troops morale is 85%. Alright. Yeah, that triggered really quickly. Really quickly. I don't think there's anything else I can colonize that doesn't have a severe malaria. So we'll just start doing something. 
Yeah, all of these places uh, have severe malaria. I'll just have to start and then wait for the technology. Yep, all of these have malaria. Industrial barriers. Factories in Los Rios are refusing to hire Patagonian people, uh, owing to their status as second-class citizens in Chile. Okay. Minus two interest group approval. Yeah, I don't really care. I will lose minus 10% loan interest rate bonus, but I'm not paying any interest right now, so it doesn't matter. All right, let's do it, people. I think we're winning. <laughs> Yeah, just a little bit. Yeah, this definitely won't take long. Okay, it's another steel mill improvement. We'll do that. Oh wait, now it's actually... hold on. And that will increase employment. How still now? Uh, there's not that demand, there's not that much demand anymore. It's almost uh, at base price now. Okay, fair enough. Oh, did we just improve? No. We're still minor power. What do I need to do to become a major power? If the prestige of Chile becomes at least 318, their rank will increase to major power. Alright, maybe we can do that uh, by the time the game ends. You guys done fighting here yet? Uh, there aren't really victory conditions, you make your own victory conditions. Paradox games have always been open-ended. Oh, we are getting migration to Los Rios. I'm not totally convinced that's a good thing. Okay, it's not much. This is fine. It's not like two million Brits like yesterday. <laughs> because that was pretty bad. Let's just expand bureaucracy in advance. So, you guys done with this war, or what? Uh, okay. There's no front anymore. So... I took everything. Why is it not ending? I'm not sure why it's not ending, but okay. That's a little bit odd. He's traveling back to the HQ now. Maybe it's waiting until he travels back? I don't know what's happening with that. But clearly, like, we're already done here. I have no idea why it's not ending. They have nothing left. We control 100%? <laughs> Over 100%. Okay, how do you control more than 100% of the land in a state?
How exactly does that happen? Uh, oh, I can. Yeah, so Annex. Why will they not accept? Okay, it doesn't say why. That's kind of weird. Oh, minus 53. Oh, minus 100 from short duration of the war. Yeah, so it was too short. We kicked their ass too quickly. That's literally what happened. I literally kicked their ass too quickly. Well, shit. <laughs> I beat them too hard. <laughs> oh, there it is. Okay, now it's done. Okay. They, I beat their ass too hard. Sorry. So now we can incorporate this. Only five years to incorporate this one. Alright. So now we have a chunk of Australia. I guess we can probably start colonizing Aust uh, Africa now. That makes more sense because there's a lot more land here that's not colonized. So to me that makes a lot more sense. That's what we'll do. Uh, yeah, just need to wait. Hey, let's check laws really quick. Right, so we have compulsory primary school now. I could get protected speech if I want to. And that would give us plus 25% technology spread. So I would say that's probably worth it. Anarchy. Yeah, landed voting is not very popular. I should probably switch to something else. Uh, but... Yeah, if I change to protected speech, I would get plus 25% technology spread. That would definitely be useful. I think we should do that. Who opposes it? Okay, mostly armed forces. Well, none of these people are part of my government. It's a 50% chance, let's go. Everything is 50% chance, am I right? Either it works or it doesn't. And the bureaucratic shortfall again, damn it. I guess we have to expand our bureaucracy even more, again. All right, all right. Still waiting. There it is, got it. Alright, let's go. Now, this will be very slow until I finish my current research. Uh, right here. But, you know, might as well get started, right? Because there's nothing else I can colonize. As in, there's nothing I can colonize that doesn't have severe malaria. All 
arming the natives. We have discovered that our rivals in Portugal have been arming the Herero natives in Chilean Herero land. This is likely to impede our efforts to conquer the region. Okay. If they want to fight, they'll get one. So Chilean relations towards Portugal deteriorates by 20. I mean, yeah, that's fine, whatever. Now, I should probably improve my military a little bit if we end up fighting Portugal at some point. Okay, shrapnel artillery. Okay, nine years for trench works. That's a little bit too long. And this will likely cost me. It will cost me a fair bit. I'm not sure if I want to do that. Minus 18,000. Yeah, okay, that's way too much. That is way too expensive. Okay, just the barracks for now. Radical party. That sounds bad. Wait, what? The intelligentsia formed a radical party. Okay. Interesting. That seems kind of weird, but all right. They have such radical ideas as freedom of conscience and the public schools. Very radical indeed. Okay, whatever. I guess that's radical now. All right, we're building a port, right? Yep. For the time, it's pretty radical. Yeah, true, it is 1877. How's that research going? 34 months left. Well, we'll get there eventually. And we don't have a level 5 education now, so that's good. Defensive pact with Great Britain. See, I don't want that because I don't want to get dragged into their wars. So, no thanks. I'll pass. Alright, 50% chance to enact protected speech. That will help our technology spread. It also means I won't be able to bolster or suppress interest groups, but I don't think I really need to do that anymore. I'm only suppressing the industrialists right now.
We can use that uh, authority for consumption taxes instead, once it passes. We're 14th now, rank. We're ahead of the Dutch East Indies, Bavaria, Greece, Belgium, Brazil. We're closing in on Sweden. All right. 29th worldwide in literacy now. It was uh, 34th earlier, so it's improving. Population still going up, radicals going down, GDP going up. Yeah, GDP goes brrr. All right, let's see if it passes. 50%. There it is. We got it. Nice. So now we get plus 25% technology spread. Which means technologies from other countries will spread to us faster. That's a good thing. We want that. Do I want to change any more laws? Well, landed voting is not very popular anymore. Private health insurance is not very popular. Yeah, public health insurance is way more popular here. Minus 20% mortality, okay. Oh yeah, this one is minus 1% per wealth. Yeah, I guess we should probably switch. It will radicalize the industrialists. Okay. Maybe not then. They do have a fair bit of influence still. Yeah, what a radical idea. Public health insurance. I mean, to be fair, in 1877, that's pretty damn radical. True, true. Free trade is very unpopular right now. Right, because industrialists support that one and the trade unions oppose it. I would rather keep it. All right, I suppose I can get rid of landed voting. Hmm. Well, here's the thing. If I do that, the political groups will get more political strength from votes. I mean, obviously, that's kind of what it means. I think for now I would be better off <coughs> with census suffrage. It also has less opposition. All right, let's switch to census suffrage. Oh, wow, yeah, antagonistic, minus 250. Uh, Portugal does not like me very much. My military seems stronger than theirs.
but I could actually build up the barracks a little bit. Uh, just in case. It won't hurt. Maybe just buy one level each for now. Okay, election. <laughs> Radical party. 50%, but again, that's mostly Intelligentsia. Communist Party got 40, Social Democratic got 10. Right, so I still have 75% legitimacy. I could add a rural folk and they, I will get 81. That's not really a big difference there and it mostly affects uh, like how often your laws get a chance to be enacted. They don't want to join the radical party. They oppose free trade. That's probably fine. Okay, that's actually fine. Yeah, I have a feeling we'll end up fighting Portugal here, eventually. But I'm still waiting to research malaria prevention, so... Our colonization will not move here until I get malaria prevention. Uh, I'm short on authority now. Okay, I can stop suppressing the industrialists for now. We'll have to stop suppressing them anyway once. Oh, wait, no. Wait, what? I thought we can't do that anymore. Yeah, we can't do that anymore, but it was still active. Okay, it didn't turn itself off once the law passed. That should probably be fixed. That should definitely be fixed. Yeah, that should be fixed. Because under protected speech, I cannot bolster or suppress groups. At least I'm not supposed to. That's what it said earlier. But now it doesn't? Okay, that's a bit weird. Alright, whatever. I can probably add some consumption taxes here. Might as well. A construction is done. How's electricity right now? Plus 67%, alright. I do have a level 10 power plant now. And it's the number one power plant in the world. Currently, at least. A 525 electricity. I might want to build my own engines eventually. I could... That might be worth it. Alright, let's get motor industries. And some more government administration.
Still waiting for malaria prevention. Two more years, basically. I don't think it will go any faster here. 66.6% literacy. <laughs> well, it's moving up, that's good. We are currently generating 71 innovation. All right. Man, we still have 13 more years to go to incorporate these two states. It's so slow. It won't be done until 1890. It's one-fifth of the entire game duration, because the game is a hundred years, and it takes 20 to incorporate these two states. So one-fifth of the entire game, just doing that. That's slow. Still waiting for the census suffrage. How's our Australian colony doing? At least this one will be incorporated faster. You know, that's kind of funny. I only just colonized this very recently, and it will be incorporated in three years. On the other hand, this territory over here, which I had people living in for like, basically since the start of the game almost, will take 12 more years to incorporate. Okay, let's expand the shipyard here. Will it pass? Yes, it will. Okay, nice. A path to liberalism completed, right. I didn't even see that I completed that, but all right. So now what? Can we change? No, we can't change the rights of women. <laughs> wow. Okay, 67.9% oppose it. Nobody supports it. Literally, not a single group supports it. All right, all right. I guess that won't be happening. Right, I could switch to public health insurance. That's going to be minus 20% flat mortality for everyone. All right, let's try that. This one will definitely be a little bit harder. Uh, oh, the rural folk under the leadership of Juan Francisco Grostadia has ushered in an era of liberal politics that promises a freer society where all citizens have a part in the political process. He's a fearless visionary. <laughs> Uh, perhaps a voice of reason is needed before this gets too radical. Plus 50 popularity, okay. He would get liberal trailblazer. Yeah, so ideology radical. And this is their stance on everything here. That's actually fine. They oppose censorship, they strongly oppose outlawed dissent, they strongly oppose National Guard and the secret police, they oppose landed voting, they oppose anarchy, oligarchy and autocracy. I don't really have any of those anymore. 
and I don't plan to. So this is actually fine. He is indeed a fearless visionary. Other political leaders would be wise to follow this trend. Okay. Oh, interesting. Now that is interesting. Uh, this guy is 86 years old though. But I would change him to a radical. So this guy is trade unions. Interesting. A reformer. <laughs> okay, that's not much of a reform, to be honest. Hmm. Well, here's the thing. Uh, rural folk only have 6% cloud right now, but the trade unions uh, have 24%. And I could change their leader's ideology uh, from moderate. He has no stances whatsoever as a moderate. I could change him uh, to a radical. Which is what I want. That is actually what I want. Let's go with that then. There. They're radical now. Works for me. Now let's check our laws here. Alright, let's actually finish a private health insurance first, I suppose. Yeah, still nobody supports change in the rights of women here. Oh yeah, I should switch from National Guard to something else, probably. I kind of don't want to, actually. Maybe to Granted Liberties. Uh, we'll see later. Let's try to get public health insurance first. And what's our legitimacy now? 80%. I'm losing authority. Too many consumption taxes, I suppose. One more year to finish malaria prevention. Then we will colonize way, way faster. Way faster. A high attraction in Western Australia, all right. And let's build some more coal mines here. <laughs> Classic Australia with a bunch of coal mines. Sounds about right. And now I don't want to stop. So almost 30% done. Anything interesting happening anywhere? Uh, France seems to be getting bigger in Africa here. Uh, I should actually improve my relations with France. I definitely don't want France to hate me, that's for sure. We're now 27th in literacy. I should get more universities. Speed up our research. All 
All right, let's get level five here in Santiago. Soldiers are complaining that they have no way to open their canned food. <laughs> Wait, what? They'll figure it out. Spend some money to develop a way? What the heck? Seriously? 2800 for five years? To develop a way to open canned food? <laughs> are you kidding me? Well, all right, they are already angry, so I don't really want to piss them off even further here. Okay, fine, we'll develop a friggin' can opener. Fine. It's okay, I can always increase the taxes. Enlistment officers, plus 20% conscriptable battalions, all right? Okay, my budget actually is not looking so hot anymore. I'm only spending 14,000 on construction. And we're at minus 10k. I mean, it's mostly fine for a while. I do have a lot of reserves. Just don't want it to drop too much into the negatives. Let's check the market really quick. Yeah, still massive demand for clothes and furniture. I suppose I could just work on that. And also coal, glass, paper. All right, uh, I guess we'll just work on that. Not enough healthcare. All right, that's uh, for our law here. Plus 20% enactment success chance, yep. Yeah, I know, right? Inventing canned food, but not the way to open it. To be fair, that does sound like something a government would do. They're like, that's not our problem. Uh, okay, so... I think I'll just work on furniture manufacturers here. Can't improve it anymore, can I? Uh, not right now. I am still the number one uh, textile mill in the world here. It's the 15th most productive building in the world. My textile mill in Santiago. I assume that won't last, but for now it is. GDP is still going up. We are 14th worldwide now. So how much prestige do I need? A 338. All right. You do get a fair bit from army power projection. So in theory, I could just spend money on, on my army, but that would be kind of pointless right now. 
Give me that cure for malaria already. Or prevention, rather. Three more months. And then we'll start colonizing way, way faster. Way faster. Uh, okay, that looks pretty bad. What's expensive right now? Yeah, coal, glass. I can work on coal. Oh yeah, right, I can use dynamite now. Maybe I should just raise my taxes. Oh no, more migration to Los Rios. I don't necessarily want more migration. Fortunately, it's not a lot. I can live with that. I just don't want a 200% migration event like yesterday. That would be bad for me right now. There we go, done. Okay, we can also get level 5 colonial affairs. So we'll do that. Let's see now. International exchange standards. A plus 10% main thing. Uh, three years. Plus 5% prestige. Oh, yeah, yeah, let's get that. That won't take long. Only 5 to 10 weeks. We now have public health insurance. Nice. Uh, let's check taxation really quick. Yeah, this is still the most efficient form of taxation for me. By quite a significant margin. Maybe I can get more efficient consumption taxes. Uh, let's just redo all of these really quick. So, right, I do not want to tax something like services. Definitely luxury clothes, luxury furniture, and I suppose that's it. Forty six thousand on construction goods, okay. So we are actually fine right now. There's the prestige. We're ranked fourteen now. Okay, Sweden has three hundred seventy five. France has 4,280, all right. Plus one port max level. Unlocks industrial port. Okay, sure, let's do that. That's less than a year. Okay, how much faster is it now? It's still actually kind of slow-ish. Oh no, we still have this shit here. So will it go away or do I need to do something? Let me check that tag really quick. Removes all effects from... Oh wait! Wait. No, this should remove all effects of severe malaria in your own colonies. I shouldn't have to do anything else. Uh, 
I don't think I need level 5 health system. It doesn't say anything here on the tall tips. So maybe just wait? I don't know, maybe just wait. Or maybe there is like a decree or something? It's not very obvious. If I'm actually supposed to do something. Or just wait. It's definitely not very obvious. I can't click on this. Maybe just wait then, I have no idea. Alright, I guess let's wait and see. I don't know if I'm supposed to do anything else here or not. The game doesn't make it very clear. Six days growing. Oh, yeah, now it's gone. So I just had to wait, apparently. No, it's still here. I don't know, man. A gold fields depleted. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah, this will just remove migration attraction. That's fine. Yeah, I don't know if I'm just supposed to wait or what. Like, the game does not make it very clear. That's one of these things that you should really get more information about somewhere. There's no such building, so no. Like, it literally does not exist. But usually, Paradox games were really good at telling you, like, stuff like that. Just doesn't seem to be the case in Victoria 3. It's growing much faster, like, look at this. Now it's actually growing properly. So I think it's gone, as in, we're preventing it. But, like, this icon is still here because this is uh, tied to the actual uh, like territory so it, it's like the trade of this territory but I am preventing it because my colonization time went from 1500 days to like 90 so obviously I am preventing it now but it doesn't say it anywhere it literally does not say it anywhere here that I'm preventing it like this icon is still exactly the same because that's just like the trade of this territory so, but, I mean, again, I'm obviously preventing it now. It just doesn't say it on the interface anywhere. But it should. It should say it somewhere. Anywhere, I don't know. It should say it somewhere. Yeah, see, now it's going properly. Around 70 days. So that's actually, like, proper growth. Okay, now I got industrial port. Do I need that many convoys? I'm not totally convinced, but okay. Yeah, okay, weekly balance minus 5,000. I don't need it. I just don't need it right now. Maybe in the future, but I definitely don't need it right now. Okay, what's next? I could get some more prestige here. That's only 31 months as well. Vacuum canning, shift work, 
Okay, so this would help my textile mills, but I would need rubber. Steam turbine. Yeah, that's seven years. A little bit too slow. Just a little bit. Oh, steam donkey. Right, that would help the coal mines. Let's get that. And there's still a huge demand for coal. Yep. Minus 2.27k. Oh, did we finish incorporating? Uh, 21 months left. It will be done soon. But still need 10 more years for Patagonia and Araucania. It's only about halfway done. So 10 more years. Portugal still doesn't like me very much. Okay, see, now it's actually expanding way faster. Now I have a border with Portugal. I have a feeling we'll end up fighting them. <laughs> Later. It's probably going to happen. They're not that strong, though. Okay, my naval base is getting a penalty. Yeah, it's because of the ironclads. From the shipyards. Uh, I can't build them any faster, I'm afraid, but I could expand the shipyard. Okay, let's expand the shipyard. Maybe even more than this. There, steam donkey. Now we can improve our coal mines. Actually, all of them. I got 16. Okay, that should help. I assume. Uh, okay, and the next stop. Seven years, that's a bit too long. I might just grab this plus five percent prestige. Plus ten percent authority. Plus one minimum expected standard of living from literacy. Plus ten percent minting. Uh, oh yeah, elevator stack is spreading. And that will give us more infrastructure. Sure, let's get that then. That's less than a year to research. Uh, no, I don't think you can make any fortifications in this game. War is very, very basic. That's definitely one of the bigger flaws of this game. They really need to work on warfare. Here's a minor thing. Why does it not move me to this colony on the map? Like when I click it. Like that's kind of weird. You have to right click. No, even then. You can zoom to capital state. Here, it's right at the bottom. I know it's a small thing, but it's kind of weird. Like, it's right at the bottom. 
if you want to zoom to something. How much is there here to actually colonize? Uh, 8 out of 105, all right. Yeah, that's something I already mentioned multiple times. There should be information about the total number of provinces somewhere, but it just isn't anywhere. Which is why I'm clicking to cancel colonization to see this number. You can't actually see it anywhere else. And then there's, yeah, this malaria thing. It's a state trait, so like this never goes away because it's an actual state trait. But it doesn't say anywhere you're actually countering it. You can figure it out from colonization speed, but it doesn't actually say it anywhere. All right, we're growing. Winds of change. Santiago has come a long way since our attention was first brought to it, going from small houses and scattered farmlands to being on its way to become a blooming metropolis. Heavily urbanized for two years. Okay. Plus 25% loyalists from standard of living increases. Okay, that's nice. This is not the end. Plus 33% urban center efficiency for two years. Tough choice. Where are services? Okay, services are not nearly as high anymore. I'm not even seeing services in here anymore. Oh yeah, right here. They are basically at the base price. So, we'll get heavily urbanized. More loyalists is a good thing. We do have urban centered size 10 now. Okay, elevators unlocked. Oh yeah, and now we also have arcades here. Still, I don't necessarily need even more services. Not right now. I guess it still helps. Okay, sure, I guess it still helps. Let's just change all of them. Hopefully I have enough electricity. Yeah, actually, I don't have electricity shortage now. Okay, okay. Well, I guess we'll work on that then. A 90 out of 100 infrastructure. Now let's build a power plant elsewhere. <laughs> a 70 out of 79. Here, we can build one down here. because I'm running out of infrastructure. Pave the roads. Eight years. Taxation capacity, minting. Electric railways. That will take seven years, but I guess it's worth it. It will unlock electric trains for a railway. I guess I could get shift work really quick before we get started on that. I suppose I can switch some of the urban centers back. For now.
Okay, it's fine now. And we'll switch it back once we get more electricity. Still cloth shortage. Plus 26% base price. Hey, good afternoon. Wait, did we finish incorporating? What the heck happened with that? Oh, okay, still six months left. Okay, I was looking at this list and it's still just two states listed. It will be done pretty soon. And then I need nine more years to incorporate these two states in my homeland. Uh, arming the natives, yeah, again. We should de-escalate the situation. But I don't want to de-escalate the situation. <laughs> uh, that's the thing. I don't want to. Minus 0 0.50 colonial growth generation for five years. But that's like, yeah, that's basically zero. That would give me zero colonial growth generation for five years. I don't want to do that. But if I say no again, they will get another plus 33% offense and the plus 33% defense bonus. That's kind of a lot. They only have five battalions, mind you, but that's a pretty big bonus right there. Still, if I say I want to de-escalate, I will only get... No, I don't want to really get anything. There's no actual benefit here. The only benefit is that my relations towards Portugal will not get even worse. But they are already about as bad as they can possibly be. So yeah, whatever. It's just that I'll probably end up having to fight them. Let me make a quick save here. I haven't made a hard save in a while. Yeah. If I accepted minus 0 0.50 colonial growth, it would have pushed it down to zero. Which is also, by the way, not obvious from that tooltip right there. If you don't know, uh, like that you only have plus 0 0.50, you see a minus 0 0.50 penalty and you're like, oh, okay, it's only like 0 0.50, that's not a big deal. No, it's a big deal. <laughs> it will bring you down to zero, literally. What? 100% of the votes for Radical Party. What the heck? That sounds like a totally legit election right there. That's a totally legit election, am I right? The most legit election ever. The boiler explosion, right. Okay. Yeah, not even the other political parties voted for themselves. Yep, sounds about right. Oh, right, uh, because we have three groups who are part of the radical party right now. Yeah, there isn't really much of an opposition. Wait, did the other parties just disappear? 
there are no other parties right now. What happened to the Communist Party? <laughs> it disappeared. Okay, I mean, I guess that makes sense. If there's only one party, there's nobody else to vote for. It sounds totally legit right there. Great system. A one party system. Very democratic. Hey, we are a presidential republic. It says it right there. So don't look at me. Eight weeks. And this last 10% feels like it's taking forever. And I'm running speed 5, damn it. The relations between you and Portugal are poor. No shit. They started. I just wanted to colonize some land. They started. I can probably beat their ass. Hopefully I won't have to. But I probably could. Okay, there's shift work. So now... Now I could work on electric railways. What about some military techs? Anything that's actually useful here? Plus one port max level. I mean, that's not really that useful for me right now. A minus 25% war exhaustion from casualties. Okay, that does sound useful if we end up fighting. And it's only 31 months. Uh, let's get to that. Minus 20% mobilization goods requirements. That also sounds quite useful. Let's get some military techs just in case. Because I have a feeling I'll end up fighting Portugal at some point. There we go, we finished incorporating the state. So we got Chilean West Australia. <laughs> and we incorporated that like before Patagonia and Araucania. I blame all the Brits migrating here. Because this would have been way faster uh, if South Andean culture was the majority. But they're not because of all the migration we got yesterday. Uh, okay, almost 200k population. Uh, let's check laws really quick. I don't think I really want to change anything. Well, if there's anything I would change, it's the army model, perhaps. We could get mass conscription. That actually sounds like a good idea. Okay, let's get mass conscription. We can try. Hopefully before war breaks out. We're expanding here pretty quickly.
16 out of 105 now. Volatile 100. Yeah, it can basically happen any moment now. It can happen any moment or it can happen five years from now. It's kind of random. But this number does not go uh, beyond 100. So tension is basically at maximum. I had maximum tension back home for like, oh yeah, there we go, see, it happened now. But I had maximum tension back home for like 10 years before and nothing happened. Uh, okay. So I assume Portugal might help them. Okay. So... Uh, how does this work? Oh, I have to wait for diplomatic maneuvers phase. Okay, fair enough. Uh, I guess it's time to mobilize then. I'm not sure if I want to get all of the conscripts, but... Again, I assume Portugal might join the party here. There's a very good chance they will. Uh, I need a general. Brave. Plus 25% moral damage protection. Plus 40 popularity. As commander, plus 10% recovery rate, but minus 20% command limit. Well, that probably doesn't matter that much. Plus 200% careful maneuver chance. Popular commander. I only have 18 in my barracks here, so I don't need 24. As commander, plus 10% offense, plus 50% surprise maneuver chance. Minus 50% supply route cost. Okay, let's get this guy. I guess that works. Mobilize. Yes, I'm sure. Okay, I think I need more generals, actually. So what's up with the conscripts then? Do I need to wait? Oh yeah, mobilizing. Okay, fair enough. There's the conscription center. I'm a little bit confused about how this system works. It's a little bit weird. But alright.
So zero out of 32 conscript battalions. So what happened to my conscript battalions then? I'm a bit confused about that part. Does it just take time? Like, where does it say anything about that? But he does have more capacity. There are just, like, no extra troops. Like, I'm really confused about how this works. Yeah, so, I mean, I can activate conscription centers, and then what? Yeah, but that's just one general, that's from my barracks. But I also have conscription centers. So, like, how do those work? Yeah, see, mobilized battalions. Now they're mobilizing. So it does take some time for it to happen. Okay, okay. Oh, hey, did it start? I think I missed, like, the diplomatic phase. Uh, I'm pretty sure I did. Uh, no, I didn't. Right, so I could get Great Britain to my side. Doesn't look like Portugal joined them or anything. I shouldn't need Great Britain here. But it is an option. Let me just make a save here, because I'm a bit confused about this system. Yeah, okay, now he has 27 out of 38. 29. Okay, so uh, the new conscripts will continue to join him until he hits his limit. He's still traveling. Yeah, they just take some time to mobilize. That makes sense. All right, all right. And here's supply efficiency. And because he has a bonus for supply efficiency, I only need like half. Okay, interesting. Okay, the war has broken out. Yeah, Portugal did not join them, so they were all talk. And disease among the wounded. I don't want plus five percent mortality. I mean, these guys have like five battalions, I'll kick their ass. Even with the bonus they got from the event earlier. I definitely didn't need to, uh, like, mobilize everything. Uh, let's raise the taxes for a moment. Just temporarily for the duration of the war. The funny thing is, I'm still trying to enact mass conscription in the middle of the war. I'm not sure what exactly is going to happen. If it goes through while I'm at war. Because right now I have professional army. I guess nothing should really happen. It won't remove my barracks levels or anything like that. Okay, no, nothing should really happen. I'll just get more potential conscripts. Uh, the war will likely be over by then. Yep. It will be over by then. 
were kicking their ass. It's going to be another case of uh, the war being over too quickly, I bet. I bet that that's what's going to happen. Yeah, I'm paying uh, 16,000 in military wages. I'm also paying 24,000 in welfare payments. Uh, that's becoming a little bit much. I might actually lower this. Okay, let's actually lower this a little bit to level 2. Yeah, this will be over pretty quickly. I'm also not even building anything anymore. Well, war is expensive. Who would have thought? Lead. Plus 48%. Oh, hold on, we got some events. Mm. Removes trade psychological affliction. Gets minus 20 popularity for two years. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, okay, hold on, hold on. Let's check buildings real quick. Oh, yep, crash. Damn it. Second one today? Yep, second one today. Well, all right then. Clearly they couldn't win, so they crashed the game. And now it's synchronizing the Steam Cloud. Go on. Okay, it's launching. It's trying. Wait, what? Did it just... Oh, no. I thought I, it crashed right on the launch attempt. <laughs> I thought that happened for a second there. That would have been pretty bad. Yeah, but most of the crashes seem to be like around the mid-late game. Okay, we're back. Okay, the two decisions are still here. Hey, I was going to get some lead. Here, we can get one lead mine in Los Rios. And once we get all this territory, I can start another colony. Yeah, I think we're winning. <laughs> Help from Portugal wasn't enough for them. Forty K on the goods for military buildings, all right. Yeah, war is expensive. And there we go. Uh, now I just need to wait. Uh, 
it should be done any moment. Yeah, minus 100 because of short duration of the war. I want to quickly. Clearly waiting a month or two totally makes a difference. Am I right? Any day now. Oh, let's check turmoil uh, in Australia. I never checked. Okay, there's no turmoil. Maybe there was, but it's gone. 45% here. Come on. Give me the land already. You know it's mine. Just give it to me. What's this? A plus 15 infrastructure. Okay, that's interesting. I like that. Yeah, we can colonize this stuff. This seems connected here. So this one should be very quick because it's small. There, we got it. Now I might want to do something with the turmoil here. So emergency relief. That costs 100 authority. We can do that for a little bit. But now we have a little bit of Chile in Africa. So now... Uh, okay, I need to declare interest or colonize this. I want to take some territory with this bonus here. Plus 15 infrastructure. That sounds pretty nice. So let's just change our interest here. Uh, where was it? Here. Oh yeah, I can just declare second one. Uh, can I? Uh, oh yeah, right. First one, rather. Okay. Now we can colonize this. No, wait, I need to remove mine first. Okay, and then just wait. Is it working? No, yeah, it's working. I just need to wait uh, for it to kick in. It's actually like easy to miss this because it doesn't tell you here. If you look at this screen, it kind of looks like it's done, right? It literally looks like it's done, but it's not. If you go back one screen, this actually has to go to 100. So, and then I can start colonizing. We're 14th now. Alright. Wait, where's 12 and 13? What? Uh, oh, this is not in order. Now it's in order. Okay. So that's a rank. Uh, by default, it's sourced by prestige. Right. GDP. Okay. Fair enough. Is it done? Uh, yeah, it's done. Okay, now we can colonize this. So, right... Wait, what? Why can I not do it? Uh, no, I can do it. That was a bit weird. Yep. So, this should be quick because it's a small state. Uh, not that small, apparently. But like I said, I want to get this land here because of this infrastructure bonus. So we'll work on that. And... Uh, right, we're enacting mass conscription. Uh, I can lower taxes a little bit now. Uh, but actually, we are over three hours now. I think I'm going to wrap it up for today. So I think the plan from now on uh, is to stream roughly at the same time as today. So around the non Central European time for three to four hours. Because I'd rather do slightly shorter streams, but either daily or almost daily than like one long ass 
eight hour stream per week or two per week. So uh, that's going to be it for today. Thanks for coming everyone, I appreciate it. You could have been anywhere, but you chose to watch me and I really appreciate that. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.